guys, what's up? Welcome back to Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. Big John TV, we're all about. Feet, baby, and fun. Now, you've been with us while we've been hanging out in North Carolina. We're yeah. here still. We got an awesome video for you today. We're not doing what's cooking. We're not doing what are we eating. We're going to do what are they eating in North Carolina. Right. We'll so, start. these are a selection of products that are native to North Carolina that are made here or that you can really only find in this region. Region. We're going to get loose with that definition on maybe one of the items, but everything else here is from the area we're in, Winston-Salem general area, or just North Carolina in general, right? Exactly. All right. So, we, yeah, we wanted to share these unique items with you guys. A couple of grocery stores we've been through actually have sections that are dedicated to North Carolina items. So you know we're all about trying new stuff. So that's what we're doing. Yep. And it works, you know, what they're eating. See? Yeah. Get it? All right, so I Get think it? we should start with some of the savory things. So why don't you bust open the crackers? All right, these are an original Carolina couch mix. Kick back, relax, and start crunching. Um, let's see, these are out of, where are they out of? I thought it was uh, Charlotte. All right, so simple ingredients. Crispy oyster crackers, crunchy giant corn nuts, North Carolina peanuts, and Southern Moho seasoning blend. So ah, is it Moho or Mojito? It literally mm -hmm. says Moho seasoning blend. Interesting. Uh, Virginia and Milton Julian, 1958. Roasted so I read crackers. the little blurb on the back. The father of the guy who made these was a haberdasher. Do you know what that is? Haberdashery? Yes, do you know what that is? Like a was it a seller or a maker of like coats and hats yes. and clothing and stuff? Yes, good job, Johnny. <laughs> Point for me. No. Why not? That's, a, that's a point for sure. <laughs> All right. It's super light, poofy. Whoa. That bag was way puffed up. Mm -hmm. All right, you gonna try? You oh, like corn nuts? You like peanuts? You like um, um crackers? Can I get a refund? <laughs> Why would you just get only a cracker? Just one cracker. Yeah. All right, reach out again. You, there's three different pieces. Yeah. Why don't you get a selection? Take a little pinch. Oh my gosh! You got a terrible pinch. All right. To be fair, the oyster crackers are on top. <laughs> here, take a. So maybe go. we need to shake it around a bit. Corn nut. Oyster crackers and corn nuts. I got a peanut. Ew. Nah. I don't like it. Good. Hmm. Oh, I like that flavor mm -hmm. on there. I don't like it. Not that much. Don't get that seasoning in your eye. You might regret that. This? It's got a little bit of a chili powder kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide what I'm tasting in there. It's not spicy at all, but it is spiced. Does that make sense? Mm hmm What's in a, um, what's in a mojito? It's mint. Yeah. It's, um. I don't think it's anything to do with a mojito because that doesn't taste like mint or lime. I don't know either. But it's a good flavor. I like it. And those are the biggest corn nuts I've ever seen. So Jamie, you're not, what did you actually try? Um, just that. You try the crackers? No. Try one of those crackers. Don't want them. Why? Because they're just going to be mixed up with the same oh, seasoning. True. Maybe if you didn't like the flavor on. the same exact bag. True that. True that. All right. So there's the packaging. Those are fantastic. Those were really good. Great flavor on them. Yep. All right. Next, I'm going to crack open some okra chips. Yes. Now, I've tried okra before and it's kind of snotty and slimy so i was thinking that as chips it would be a better texture and i've never ever knowingly ingested okra in any in any form i'll just take one probably don't need to pass it down yeah i'm guessing jamie's not gonna <laughs> eat these want to try it? okra is popular around here katie mm -hmm. i thought he was really gonna bite it all right it's here we go deep fried. oh deep fried oh. okra yeah. actually it it's just a bad flavor. kind of crunchy and crunchy and sweet. Crunchy and sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it loses the like slimy texture. Yeah. 
this way. This is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it is really oddly sweet, quite honestly. There's almost a green pepper, green bean flavor in there, mm -hmm. but very minimal, like just enough to confuse your mouth. So you want to try? Yeah. Really Are you sure? I actually dig these. I, I do too. These are good. It, it could, I will continue eating those. It might take me a few more bites to like fully love them. I almost started to yawn there. Oh dear. I'm exhausted. All right. So let's move from the dried okra into the pickled okra. Oh. And this is a North Carolina made product. This is from Hamptonville. Hamptonville. Katie is saying, here, stay on camera. So this does say the Dutch kettle. Hamptonville is where there is a large Amish community. Okay. Ooh, these smell like a good pickle. You don't like pickle stuff, do you? I like pickle. I like little pickle. Okay. I just want to share them with you. I don't want to go. Okay. So, it looks like a normal kind of pickliness, right? Like it's green and it, it smells sour. Ew. Pickled okra. That's not bad either. I think it loses a lot of the sliminess. Back. Right. You really just taste the pickling flavors and spices. I don't hate it. She already had some. You good? Yeah, but I want like my own. Oh, we'll no. finish this one because I. I don't want okay. To finish it. You want to take a bite? You want to try? Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Not bad. It's... Oh, is that what you were trying not to eat the dish? Yeah, I don't want to eat the stems. Okay. The whole thing is soft and it's I was really gonna say you probably Yeah, I ate the stem, it wasn't bad. I'll see you don't think too. Here we go. I'm absolutely okay with these. I like pickled things. I like that this isn't a sweet pickle, it's a vinegar pickle, and it looks like garlic in there. These are good. Yeah, it says vinegar, garlic, salt, and water. So very super simple. I don't hate it. I hate the whole thing. I don't hate it. So right. That's a win. <laughs> Alright, so check it out. The Dutch kettle. Yeah, eat the whole, no, just eat the whole thing. It actually it is fine, man. Right. Mm -hmm. It's got a, the texture of like a peppercini. Mm-hmm. Where it's pickled and it's... It, it, it's not as crunchy as yeah. a pickle, like yeah. a cucumber pickle. I don't hate it. All right, what should we do next? Um, James. All right. So... Uh, uh, did, you, did you remember what this was? Or? You can go ahead okay. and talk about it. Vineyards Premium. This is from North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, uh, vineyardspremium.com. This is frog jam. Mmm, I always wanted to eat frogs. <clears throat> so what do you think they put in there? Frogs. The legs? Yeah. Eyeballs? Some, some of the back? No. <laughs> no. Why are they making us eat this? This is fig, raspberry, orange, and ginger jam. That sounds pretty Got good. to be North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So we got some toast buttered, or toasted, got some bread, toasted and buttered. Let's put a little bit of jam on it. Ooh, smell that. Ooh. That smells delicious. It smells like honey. It does, there, there's a little bit of a... Mm, I a, think figs kind of smell like honey, so kind that of might be. Honey and a I don't want to try sweet. It. I don't want to try it. You don't want to try it? No. You're so silly. I definitely want to try it. Should I do both slices or just the one? Just go ahead and do the one then. Okay. It smells really sweet. There's a little bit of a tart smell in there. Because you know what I would want at the end? What? I just want the way to the bread. You can have that if you try the jam. No! Mama? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, frog jam. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's fantastic. That is a good mix. Put jam on it. No, I don't want mm. Yep, yep. I could totally dig that one. Yep. That's Sugar, mandarin, oranges, orange figs, peel. raspberries, ginger, orange, and orange peel. Yeah, that's really good. That is delicious. Let's try the cherry. Wait. All right. Mm -hmm. Hand me the right. lid for that one. Let's yep, try yep, the cookies and then we'll move on to the drinks. Okay. Next we've got Dewey's Bakery Moravian style toasted coconut cookie thins. So there is a large Moravian culture presence here in North Carolina. Yep. And so these cookies come from that. Yep. These are actually from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. 
uh, toasted coconut cookie thins. And this is a bakery in Winston Salem. Mm -hmm. It's an old school bakery. An old it actually is a, a fire box. And, okay. Um, it's it's, yeah. So they use old school cooking methods and. Mm -hmm. And they, the where we were down for all the um, where the really old houses are. Mm -hmm. They do. Um, what is that? Where they pretend to still live that style. Oh, like mm. reenactments. Yeah. Okay. okay. Everything is done yeah. exactly the way it was done. Then. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Cookies in. So these are a coconut? Coconut. Toasted coconut. Why do you have no toast that? What? I don't really like coconut. Mmm. Oh. You, you like toasted coconut? Mm. Oh, well, maybe you will. This is fabulous. These are really, really good. They're super crispy, and they have a great flavor. Those are those are fantastic. All right, next let's move on to Vineyards Premium, and I know this looks like a bottle of, a bottle of wine, but it is 100% muscadine juice, all natural, alcohol free, and this is from specifically North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. There we go. It yep. looks like shit up orange. It says not from concentrate, no sugar added. So what's the fruit or what's the berry? Muscadine. Muscadine. So it's a variety of grape. I remember in an episode of Duck Dynasty, yes. when Uncle Sai was picking muscadine berries uh -huh. and then he, they, he thought he ate raccoon poo. Raccoon poo. I remember that one. It just came to me, that memory right uh -huh. there. This is really hard to open. There we go. Mine. All right, Jamie, is your cup empty? Yes, it is. It's such a pretty color. It really is a beautiful color. I'm sorry, my elbows are needed. Careful not to spill tea. Yeah, this is an actual wine. Please don't spill. Be careful. Imagine I take this to school and be like, hey guys. Yeah, I'd imagine you get suspended and kicked out. <laughs> Well, that's good. It tastes just like wine. <laughs> so full of beans. Ooh, this is good. You don't know what you're doing. Alright, let's put that back there. It has a good sweetness. Very grapey. I mean... I love it. Like... Hmm. So I'm used to when somebody says grape. Conquered grape flavor. Yeah. Like that really deep, rich flavor. This yeah. one is more fruity almost like a berry flavor yeah like raspberry ish it's like purple grape mixed with yeah any of those berries right Can I just get a tiny bit more of that please yeah when we're done yes okay. we'll get back into it mom were to put the lid on it would be really good okay. if there was like like sprite or something mixed in there Ooh, that would be good with sprite yeah yep 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 all right well there's a new one for me too muscadine juice all right, last item. Now this was the one we were saying it's kind of, it's more of a region thing. I, I've i never seen this in a store in California. So we had to get it. But this, technically this brand is from, what did you say? I think that one might have been New Jersey or Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. This is Cootstown Soda Works. Um, specifically this is Birch Beer. Original premium recipe. Never in my life have I seen Birch Beer. No caffeine. Let's see. Triple filtered carbonated water, pure cane sugar, and a bunch of other colors and stuff. So yeah, I again grabbed our attention. It was like, you know what? Let's throw it into that mix. Gives us a reason to try it. Hmm. Same cups? Yes, Care? I think so. Okay, sit up over here. Okay. Here we go. You know what this looks like? It smells like Coke. Does it? Interesting. Let's see if you guys can remember the flavor. Mm. It reminds me of old fashioned candies at Columbia. Oh, it's like sarsaparilla. To me, it's like a root beer, sarsaparilla. Mm -hmm. What's That's the good. other one? Whorehound? Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? Certs. Do you remember those? Um, oh, there is kind of a mintiness there. There is in like that. a slight mintiness, yeah. I get that. That's pretty good. 
I like that. That's not that bad at all. It's got a, if you like root beer, you'll like this. Mm -hmm. If you hate root this beer, really good. you'll probably hate this. It's got that same like, that spice level to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I know a lot of people outside of America do not like root beer. Here we go. All right, we'd forgotten in the row of stuff, one of the, the key ingredients for today's video, the boiled peanuts. Yes, boiled peanuts. This is a big thing in this part of the country. Right. Uh, apparently gas stations and quick stops like that, you can just go in and they're hot and ready to go. Um, we have a bowl here, you do warm them up. That's the way you do it. So you dump the can in a pot, warm them up, microwave them, whatever you want to do. And then you're going to eat them just like a normal peanut, except for... Just kind of pinch the sides. Yeah, they are soft. They're mushy, mm, oh, almost. I don't want to try it at all. You want it for me? Yeah, it's way too hot for me. So, oh. so you get that, get those peanuts in there. They have a bad smell. They have a very like grassy smell with the shell on them. I get that like earthiness. Mm -hmm. They they do grow underground, so like that makes sense. But I'm not a huge fan of the texture. The flavor doesn't bother me, but the texture gets me. The texture is very... Very bean-like. Very beany, very soft. Not mushy, there's still some texture to them, which is good. Not my Did favorite. You try? What do you think of them? I don't like it. Can I, should, can I pull one out? Just try one? Come on, man, do it. Do it. So you're shaking the table, bud. No thanks. Look. No thanks. No thanks. These, these are really good. Your dad was a big fan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No thanks. So, so am I. So, what was your favorite thing here, Maddie? Um, this. <clears throat> the grape juice. The jam. And the other soda. Yeah. yeah. I like the soda. You know, I, I was super pleasantly surprised with the pickled I and the crunchy say, okra. I was I was surprised how much I liked the okra. Yeah. They were both really good, both varieties. Yeah. So, you guys comment down below any of these things you've had, variations from your neck of the woods, um, if you're a fan of okra or not. Like, Let me know if you've seen any of these products and your thoughts on them. And, um, yeah, this was a good one. Mm -hmm. All right, Maddie, what do you tell them? Like, subscribe, share me, friends. What? Oh, wait. <laughs> Like, subscribe, share with your friends. You can, you find, can find Big John TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Yes. You missed two videos yesterday and you forget you wrote your lines. Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> Take a day off and you fall apart. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.